Hi all, we are preparing chicken curry today. For that we need to marinate chicken. We bought chicken leg pieces. If you see they are all leg pieces. So this is how marination goes. We took uh, all the chicken pieces, washed it thoroughly and then we put turmeric powder, chili powder, ginger garlic paste, some salt and yogurt. and uh, leave it for 30 minutes so it's already 10-15 minutes in the meantime we can start working on the gravy chicken takes some 30 minutes to get marinated in the meantime we are taking some coconut powder dried coconut powder poppy seeds and then we're just frying it and then we will uh, put it in the mixture you can add few cashew nuts in the dry fry and then mix put it in a mixture Try it for maybe about 5 minutes so any moisture in it will just go away. Little garlic too. Putting one red chili in the rye. It will just remove any smell. In the meantime, I'm just cutting onion. Now we will blend chopped onions and chopped tomatoes. I've taken about two cups of onions and two tomatoes. So let's uh, let onions put it in the blender. And tomatoes too. We are blending this to a very fine paste. This is onion tomato paste. As you can see, it is very finely pasted now. And then we're gonna little fry it so the smell goes it. If you smell this, it's gonna smell very raw. So we need to just fry it in oil so the smell goes away. We take this finely fried coconut poppy seed powder and put it in a mixer. We need to powder it. I have blended the coconut powder and poppy seeds into a very fine paste. Now we need to put the marinated chicken into a pressure cooker and we need to give like one, one whistle. We have to wait for one whistle and then we can remove it. I have taken the chicken so the bottom is all needs to be cooked thoroughly. There's a little curd also yogurt in the down, you can see that so that it not get burnt. Take two tablespoons of oil. Once it gets hot enough, we need to put cumin seeds and mustard seeds and mustard seeds. Now oil is very hot. If you put mustard seeds, they just have to pop it. Add very less mustard seeds. More will spoil your taste. Next is the cumin seeds. Now I see the color of cumin seeds changing. Mix it well. I smell the raw taste of onion and tomato. We'll wait for at least 10-15 minutes for the smell to go away. Mice are burning right now. 
take a spoon of ginger garlic paste and put it let's mix it it's better to put ginger garlic paste directly in the oil you can avoid the raw smell of ginger garlic as you can see the oil seems to be less I'm adding some more oil more the oil you add more the taste take some tamarind pulp I've taken the tamarind concentrate I've taken two, two tablespoons of tamarind pulp and put some water mix it we'll wait for the onion tomato paste to cook I'll put some more oil and uh, here is our looks once it is cooked now it gets separated we'll put the tamarind paste in the meantime the chicken is still cooking and the first whistle we're waiting for it we got the whistle and now it is cooled off and then the lid as you can see there is a lot of water there's a water with the chicken already has it so it's all boiled now we added few curry leaves, it's optional. It seems to have been cooked well. The oil is oozing out, it's bubbling, you can see that. It's time to put the cooked chicken into this. I'm putting the chicken, boiled chicken. don't have to put the water right now we have carefully removed all the leg pieces from the cooker and put it in the pan which had onion and tomato paste we'll leave it for five minutes and then we'll put the tamarind juice and uh, coconut paste the chicken is very well cooked it's like two minutes and then i'm putting the tamarind juice putting the coconut poppy seed paste we have to put the water that oozed out the chicken while boiling That's uh, poppy seed coconut powder. I just washed the jar. Mix it well and allow till the gravy thickens. After five minutes of cooking, you can put a little garam masala. We'll get it in any Indian grocery store. Mix it well. Chicken is cooked very well. Now we need to garnish with a few coriander leaves. And then you can serve it hot with rice. Serving with hot rice. Doesn't it look amazing? Tasty chicken leg curry is ready to serve and thanks all for watching this.